<sighs> Take two. Chappelle thing. It was comedy. Those writing the little SJW articles, chill the fuck out. He was making jokes. That's what he does for a living. I don't think he believes any of that stuff. If he does, then fuck him. But as it stands, it's comedy. It's a joke. It's a bit. He goes on the stage. He makes some jokes. He laughs with what? I do have one thought, though. Here's my one issue, though. Why did he get all butt hurt when people about why he left his show? Because he left his show because he didn't like how people were perceiving his jokes. Well, change the best of your jokes. You're mad now that people are butt hurt at you for what you're saying, but you got butt hurt about things that you would perceive people were thinking. If you don't like the way people are viewing something that you're saying, don't say it. Say something else. He walked away. So, whatever, you know. And I'm not going to get mad about the trans jokes. I mean, I don't think he has the most right to them, but eh, whatever, it's a joke. It doesn't matter. Charlie Murphy I would definitely have no problem with, because Charlie Murphy's brother was Eddie Murphy, and he picked up the uh, trans hooker one time. <laughs> maybe he was going to live, maybe he was trying something now. I don't know. I don't think Eddie Murphy's gay, because if he was gay, the minute he found out Mel B was pregnant, he'd have been out there with the job, like, the Lion King and shit. And shit like that, you know. Hanging up everywhere to say. He'd be paying that child support right away, like, yes, yes, indeed, that is my kid. That's what he'd be saying. Real father came in, nope, that's mine. Here's your money, fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> to hide it. But no, he, he was going out of his way. Had, no, 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 no. Like, like a straight man would, you know. So, yeah. I think he was just trying to think, you have, you know, a straight man who did trans women, cool, maybe he was ahead of his time. Actually ahead of his time, not like one of them fucking douchebags with the fucking thick glasses and shit and eating terrible, drinking terrible tea and making their fucking shitty mix, what are they called, I, I don't know anymore. Anyway, those jackasses. Anyway, no. But, back to the Dave Chappelle thing, it, it's a joke, it's comedy. Lighten the fuck up. It's like he said with the Kevin Hart thing. Kevin Hart is not actually going to spend money to buy a dollhouse to hit his son in the head with it if he says he's gay. I don't think he'll have the long conversation. It'll probably be a little, you know, there'll be some gnashing of teeth and everything. And then everything will be fine. I'll be like, okay, fine. Whatever. <laughs> I do find my SGW friends abandoning me a lot quicker. Then my Republican friends. It's, it's interesting that way. And I know there are people who have to work cool and fine and everything else like that. Or they've been very helpful to me. So I'm not saying that, and I know there are people on the right there, all right nutbags. I just. Uh, God. Anyway. People need to think for themselves as the problem. We don't actually do that. There's a lot of chit chat about it, but then it goes back into I'm following this line of lockstep, I'm following this line of lockstep. Do, 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 do. Oh, Marigato, Mr. Roboto. Think for yourself. So, again, I have no problem with this particular comedy. Because that's what it is. It's a joke. If I can laugh at him for doing the crackhead character, then I can laugh at him for this. I mean, fuck it. Okay, you're being funny. I think they're mad because they pointed out, you pointed out the Jesse Small, that and a few other SJW things. They're like, oh shit, we have nothing to go without. He said, oh, good, 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 good. We, we can point fingers and shit. 
You know what happens when you point a finger? I was told a lot a long time ago about this. When I was in vocational rehab in Alexandria. Uh, and there for depression, it's a long story. I, I don't know why it was a small town. But anyway, when you point one finger, look, look, look where all these three are going. Huh. When I point this one, all of these are pointing back at me. Basically to say, if you're going to point a finger, no. That's your own history will come out too. <sighs> or as it says in the Bible, don't worry about the speck in my eye when there's a tree log in yours. You ain't Jesus, you ain't perfect. Deal with it. <clears throat> so to sit here and say that he's bad, and yeah, if he had been a total asshole or something, then fine, that's something to point out. But that's if he went out and, like, made some statement, like if he put up a YouTube page or something and run his damn mouth there, and yeah. <laughs> All he did was make a comedy show. Some of the comedies were funny. I haven't seen the actual special, I've seen clips, I'm gonna be honest. I ain't paying Netflix shit. I'm sorry. Fuck you, Netflix. Sorry. I've got my own subscription service to different things, and I'll watch them. I'll watch the free episodes here on YouTube of about uh, Cobra Kai, because that's just fucking awesome. <laughs> At some point, I don't know. If they had more shit, I'd probably bother with it. Sorry. Again, I'm being honest. Cobra Kai is awesome and worth your time. Everything else on the YouTube premium is like... I could watch better shit for free on YouTube. Why the fuck am I watching this crap? Because Cobra Kai anywhere would be awesome. I'm just saying. That shit is a throwback show and it is a great show. But anyway, back to uh, Dave Chappelle. He's a comedian. That's what he does. He makes jokes. Carlin made jokes. All these, yeah, all the people y'all love to bring up all the time. Made jokes. And he Richard Pryor made some of the most fucked up jokes in the world. But you got it. He was okay. That's what they did. The ones that didn't make up the fuck up jokes were Bill Cosby. How, how'd that turn out? Yeah. Anyway. Do you look at the man's life? Yeah. I, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, I said just saying. I like to come up with ownership, but I didn't that time. Whatever. So basically, I'm not offended. Don't be offended on my behalf. I don't need it. Okay, ask me. But if you're offended by it, whatever. Don't watch. Simple. That was something we learned a long time ago when I was a kid. If I watched something on TV I didn't fucking like and I was all offended, you know what I did? I either bitched or I picked up the remote and went click. Yeah, I get it. You paid for it on Netflix. Okay, fine. That's on you. <laughs> Alright, that's all I got to say.